Alrighty, so in today's video, look what we have right here. We have an official build of Manjaro Arm Gnome for the Raspberry Pi 4. And I'm really excited to test this out because in one of my earlier videos, I had actually tested out the beta versions built by the community. But it's awesome to see that they've actually released this on the official Manjaro websites where you can download it from. And it's looking pretty good. So this is Manjaro Arm 21.06. And in this video, we, we, we will be going over what you can do with the Sovereign System, what it comes pre-installed with, and trying to push it to the limits. So, let's get started. So, actually installing its operating system is really easy. You head over to the Manjaro ARM website right here. I will leave a link to this in the description below. You go to the Manjaro ARM GNOME part and you click download. After that, you flash it with your preferred tool, Raspberry Pi Imager, Bolana Etcher, whatever you like. Just flash it with that. It will USB boot as well. Boot it up and you'll be ready with Manjaro ARM GNOME on your Raspberry Pi 4. So, it's as easy, as easy to install as all the other versions and it does have some pretty promising looks and performance. So, now, right now, let's take a look at the system resource usage before we open up a lot of apps and stuff to see how much RAM we're using on default because that's something I always like to test out on all these operating systems. So, we'll go over to activities. And one thing to mention, we are still running GNOME 40, which is amazing. I really do enjoy GNOME 40, so it's awesome. And I really like the terminal comment kind of theming they're using it looks really cool we could always change the background from black to some other color if you like right now if we type htop we see right now on default on a fresh boot we're using 530 megabytes of ram so this is as good as the older version the beta version of manjaro arm gnome and we are getting amazing ram usage ubuntu uses about twice of this so see this little ram usage is pretty promising and i'm excited to see that and our core usage everything else is down and that memory usage is really nice to see it that low so that i got nothing else to say about ram usage it's really nice and low pretty awesome stuff right there if we type in neofetch right here we see right now we're running manjaro arm linux a 64-bit version everything is here and we come with only 858 packages so to be honest, that is pretty bare bones. Usually they come with a lot more. That's pretty awesome. We're running GNOME 40.2. We're using the Mutter window manager and everything else looks pretty similar and it all looks great. So awesome to, awesome to see the system resources resource to be that actually low. I'm excited about that. Now let's talk about the desktop and the pre-installed application. So it's GNOME 40. I really do enjoy GNOME 40 actually much more than GNOME 38. But we click right here, it looks pretty much the same. We have power off, log out, we have lock, we have settings, Bluetooth on, and we have our Wi-Fi right here. This will actually allow us to switch between the different workspaces. And the more apps you open, you will always be able to have more workspaces. So it's really easy. You can have up to like, I've seen like six. You might be able to go farther than that. I'm not sure. But I love being able to switch my workspaces that easily. Next right here, what is this? This is our, this is our app store. We click right here, we'll open actually open up the app store. Pretty nice stuff right there. So you see, we'll take a look at that in a little bit. And next right here, we have our time. And right here, we actually have our notifications from our apps. And it works really well. Right here, we have a nice calendar and our dates. So pretty awesome. Right here, we have activities. And we if we click activities, we see our desktops are actually right here. And you can actually do this with your mouse. Just switch between the different desktops. And surprisingly enough, it runs really well. It's much smoother than I actually intended. And it is some pretty awesome performance. So next right here, if we just go and we click our all applications. So we actually have this nice dock right here. It looks pretty sick, pretty nice. We click right here and we, now we see all of our applications and our desktops are on the top right here. Right now we only have two, like I said, but we can always open up more. So now let's take a look at the pre-installed applications and actually see what it comes with. So right here we have Geary, which is a mail client, Adam software, which is Pamac, the Arch based app store basically runs really really well on here i can search for anything like firefox even though it was right there just search for firefox here we go firefox you can easily see which version of firefox we're using and we can launch it remove it or reinstall it it's a really nice app store i really do love it and it's great to see it on here so 
we can close right here and next we go back to activities and to our all applications we have weather which gnome weather honestly is pretty cool it does work really well and let's say i want to search for something well here i have i have turkey on here and it it shows my weather really well i can go over to daily tab and see the weather for every day it runs just as well and i've found this to be pretty accurate so the gnome weather app actually is really nice i was surprised to see how well it performs we have a ssh server browser we have no maps which is well no maps actually is fairly well i really have enjoyed using no maps playing around searching for different applications different places in the world it does work really well like we can search for New York City or let's go somewhere else let's go Chicago here we go Chicago and we can go for Uni Univision Chicago I don't know what that is but you see right here it loads us up right here and we can see directions what it is and it works really well we can zoom out if we like see the rest of America we go out and it, honestly it's a really nice functioning app almost like google maps and it's cool to see it pre-installed on manjar arm gnome 40. next right here what else do we have we have photos videos text editor document scanner we have settings settings honestly is pretty much similar to gnome settings i do want to mention we actually are running this on Wagland and Wagland is buttery smooth. You see how smooth this experience is actually going? Wagland has came a long ways in the last few years. I know a lot of people say there's a lot of issues and stuff, but with my Raspberry Pi, I honestly don't go into many issues. It runs really well and I'm just having a fun time with it. Next right here we have extensions, which is pretty normal and utilities. We have like a folder, we have GNOME disks, system monitor, calculator, tweaks, all these applications are pretty standard GNOME applications. I actually kind of went over these in one of my last videos, so I'm not going, I'm not diving that deep. But yeah, so we have HTOP. All these other ones are pretty similar. And we have Chromium does not come pre installed. I installed it myself. Other than that, there's just some default LibreOffice apps, NeoVim passwords, and we actually have a web browser right here. So this web browser isn't, it's like the GNOME web browser. If I go right here to About, click this three dots right here go to about web it's just called web not very creative name but it's web 40.2 but i was surprised to say that this actually performs pretty terrible on the raspberry pi like let's type pi 4 you see it takes a long time to load it isn't as smooth as other web browsers but it just comes pre-installed on manjaro i really wouldn't recommend using this actually because you're honestly not going to get very good performance but yeah so that's a bit basically it for the pre-installed applications not not much special in there but i mean the no maps everything like that is pretty cool to see it runs really well next let's test out the different features about the desktop like let's know about let's open up files right here you see we we can click this to go to another desktop let's say we open up another application in this one like terminal let's type in neofetch or htop right here and you see we automatically have another desktop right here so we can automatically switch to this one and they all just work really seamlessly and it runs really well if we click activities i can scroll between my different desktops have lots of different applications opened up in different tabs and it really does perform really well as you can see in this video i mean this is really a usable state with wayland it is buttery smooth this is really awesome to see this good performance close terminal and yeah so next after this let's test out some like multitasking and see how many apps we can actually open up at once and is it going to handle all that stuff so we'll open up a terminal in this same tab type in htop so we can see our ram usage and then we'll go ahead and open up some like no maps weather and just really load our gnome install up and see how much this guy can handle because that's also another thing to see how well this operating system can handle multitasking with tons of windows open and etc etc so let's just make this a bit smaller we have our map open right here so with how many applications we have a file manager weather maps and our terminal open we're using about 700 megabytes of ram so it's still pretty good and it is still at a usable state let's say we want to open up chromium web browser and it should probably go up when we open up chromium and as you see my core usages right now are a bit higher than i would prefer so let's just make that a bit smaller as well 
and then we'll be ready to go. So right here we have it. All these app we have five applications open right now and we are about 1.2 gigabytes of RAM. So it definitely does go up when you open up a lot of applications. But I mean it's it's expected. Chromium is a heavy browser considering RAM usage, but it is still almost the same as the default Ubuntu. So still pretty good performance there when you consider that. But yeah, so it can basically handle multitasking pretty well. You see, it's not that slow right now. It still works well. And it, it's just an awesome little desktop to have on a Raspberry Pi 4. So now I want to test out some web browsing and video playback. I do that in all of my videos. And just to see how well the performance actually can be. So if we open up Firefox, which is the default web browser that comes free and stolen here, I want to mention one thing. Firefox recently got an update where it changed the whole visual. It honestly looks a lot cleaner and it makes me want to use it more. They really changed the way the tabs look right here and we click right here. It just looks more modern, a lot better, but the performance on my Raspberry Pi 4 has just went down with this new update. It's much slower, doesn't look as, I mean, it looks better, but it doesn't perform at nearly as well. And I'm just not as happy with the performance I've been getting with the new Firefox. I used to get much better performance. Like, I click on the tab and you see it's just kind of loads for a while not like chromium at all it's just kind of slow which kind of bums me out because i do like firefox as a web browser but to see it going a bit slower on the raspberry pi 4 is a bummer but you see kind of just locks up right there if we type in amazon.com and you see it takes a little bit longer to actually load up amazon but it finally does load it up but still I can get better performance with other web browsers so I am not going to run these tests into Firefox because I don't want to give you guys false information because I'm just not getting the performance I like so I'm going to be using Chromium for this and I just get much much better performance and to install it you just open up a terminal actually and all you have to type is sudo pacman dash s chromium it's that easy to install chromium on Manjaro runs really well and that's basically how I install it, so you can just do that if you like. And where is Chromium? Let's open it up real fast. So here we have it, the Chromium web browser is open, and we're ready to run some web browsing tests and see is it faster than Firefox. I mean, I personally think it is, but you guys might disagree. So let's type in Pi4 and see how fast it actually loads up. So that was faster than Firefox, I mean, at least in my opinion. So that loaded up extremely fast as well. It's buttery smooth, the scrolling, it all feels really smooth. I mean, I could always get better performance with a lighter browser, but it still is pretty good. Let's type in Amazon.com right here. Type Amazon.com. It also loads up pretty quickly while well, I have a little capture right here. I've tried it too many times. Let's try another website. Just like, I don't know, um, Pi 4. We'll just type Pi, Pi 3 this time. What is that? I don't know what to type. <laughs> so here we are, we have our another Pi Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. So the same website, but it all is loading up pretty buttery smooth. It is usable. I mean, in my opinion, this is much better performance than Firefox. I don't know. I just felt like Firefox was lagging too much and slow, but this is pretty good. Yeah, so now let's go over to YouTube and test out some video playback at 720p on our Raspberry Pi 4. So let's go over to YouTube.com, Big Buck Bunny right here. Already have it loaded up right here. We'll run this at 720p because I honestly don't think it's gonna be handle gonna be able to handle 1080p as well. So right here we have 8 million views. That's a lot of views. Here we have it, Big Buck Bunny, and we go to settings. We're at 720p already. Let's skip to the middle or towards the end, actually. There's more action. Let's click stats for nerds. And right now, we're dropping 41 frames out of 310. So it is still quite a high number considering other operating systems run 720p videos with zero frames dropped. But overall, it still is watchable. I mean, it's not screen tearing that much or lagging. But it still is, that's a lot of frames to be dropping on Manjaro Arm. So that is still kind of a bummer to see that many frames being dropped. But I mean, it is still GNOME. GNOME is a heavy desktop environment. I kind of have to expect this, to be honest. But yeah, this is the video playback on Manjaro Arm GNOME. 
So to conclude this video, Mandrora Arm Gnome really is an amazing distro for the Raspberry Pi 4. And I am really excited that it is finally official over on the Mandrora Arm website with Mandrora Arm Gnome 4021.06. And Wayland, I have not had any issues with Wayland. It's ran incredibly well, really smooth. That, I mean, I really don't have many bad things to say about this distro other than the video playback is a bit eh and Firefox was a bit slow. But other than that, it looks really beautiful. It performs beautiful. Most things about it are really fast and snappy. So yeah, it'll be amazing if you subscribe, maybe hit that like button and thanks for watching.